This video is going to be over the 834 enrollment transaction. Uh, I will be going over the implementation guide, the high points for the implementation guide. Uh, I will also go over some examples and have a walkthrough with the 834. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and jump in. Um, this segment here, the ST segment, is the top of the transaction for the 834. And ST01 will have an 834. And um, the ID, which is in ST03, is going to be uh, 5010X220 with A1 addenda. So that 220 shows you that this is uh, an and 834. Uh, the next segment, BGN, uh, BGN08 is probably the most ex uh, important element in this segment. A uh, 2 means change. That could be like add, delete, modify. It's basically maintenance. Uh, if you're only going to audit or verify using the 834, then that's going to be a 4. Um, the rest of these uh, segments, the ref, DTP, and, and quantity segments uh, are situational. For the quantity, there's QTO1 is TO. There's a couple other qualifiers that you could have in here, but uh, TO basically means the total number of enrollments that are included. Uh, and I think you see that segment quite a bit. The next three uh, segments um, are very significant, well, especially 1000A and 1000B. There's an NN1 segment, and uh, P5 means that this is the uh, sponsor. And um, you can have for uh, the qualifier, and, and the qualifier in N103, it can be FI for tax ID, 24 or for EIN, or 94, which means it's an assigned ID. Uh, the next loop, 1000B, has an N1 segment in it. And notice that uh, for the N103 on this transaction, you can have an FI for tax ID or XV for payer ID. Uh, the following uh, loop, 1100C, um, is not always included. Uh, they are basically for third-party administrator or TPA, so that's situational. Um, and the 1000A, 1000B loop, of course, are required. Uh, when we move on from there, you come into the 2000 loop, and this is probably where you'll do most of your work at the INS segment and the HD segment in 2300. So when we, let's look at this INS segment. The, the first two elements are in regards to um, the, the status of the member. Y and 18 both mean that uh, this enrollment is in regards to the subscriber. In, in other words, 18 means self. If you had a scenario where, for example, it was a spouse, it would say INS asterisk no asterisk 19. Uh, if it was, for example, I'm sorry, 01 for spouse, uh, if it was 19 to be a child, like INS asterisk no asterisk 19, there's a child, INS asterisk no asterisk uh, 01, uh, that would be a spouse. And there are probably over 20 different, um, probably 20 different codes or so that you could put in there, uh, and you can look those up uh, when you have time. The next element is the uh, ref segment. It's got a ref 0F and the subscriber number. And the next ref is ref, IL, ref 1L, which uh, shows you the group or policy number. Um, so these are probably the most significant um, segments in this loop. Um, there are uh, some date um, segments here, too. On this one, I've included uh, the DTP 356. And that's DTP 01 equals 356. That's eligibility to begin. 357 is eligibility end date. Um, there are also some um, qualifiers for, um, I think, Medicare uh, as well. And you can look those up as well. And if if any of you folks need a deeper drill down in any one of these areas, uh, just let me know, and I could probably build uh, an 834 um, review that was more tailored to what your needs were. But this is again a high level review. So let's move on to the the next segment. And this loop, it's the member name, and that uh, uses an NN1 IL. It typically will have like the last name and first name. Uh, the last part of this NN1 segment uh, is situational. In other words, like NN1 8 and 9, these are situational. So you probably won't have those. I think in this example they're here, but a lot of times they're not there because you've got the subscriber up here in the 0F and the group number in ref1L. So uh, you may not see that. Sometimes, I mean, it's possible, but you may not see it. Um, and then you're familiar with the N3 and N4 segments as well as the DMG for demographics. Um, if you need more review uh, on segments and elements, especially the general ones, I do have other videos that will cover that. Again, this is just going to be a quick high-level walkthrough. Um, the next uh, loop is the 2300 loop with, with the healthcare coverage. Uh, I do want to point something out. Uh, notice the HD01 says 021, and up here at the 2000 uh, loop, the INS03 also says 021. 021 is the code for add, and generally the INS03 matches the HD01. Okay. Now, um, the next segment uh, that we're looking at in the HD segment is going to be the uh, the HD03, which uh, will tell you uh, if this is um, an insurance line for like health, that's HLT, but you could have VIS for vision or MM for major medical or DN, DEN for dental. Uh, I think probably the last significant element in this very important segment is, is HD05, and this tells you the coverage level. Um, this is IND for individual, but it could have, for example, CHD for child or uh, EMP for employee. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, that would, um, that would, 
actually it depends on you know how you build you know your transaction again you know there could be a lot of diversity in how you do enrollments but this will give you a general idea of how these work um, following the HD segment there's a DT, there's DTP segments I've included a couple qualifiers here DTP 01 348 for benefit begin and end date these are probably the most popular used uh, note that in, in some cases especially like with behavior health um, you could have uh, this 2300 loop or even the 2000 loop uh, looping several times like every month sometimes with behavioral health um, maybe not so much in other uh, insurance product lines but um, just be aware that, that that can loop several times um, I think from there um, that's probably most of the information that you need there is um, a 2310 loop uh, that can go over um, your provider information like for example here we have an LX1 and below that is an NM1 um, segment and uh, if you have an NM1 asterisk P3 for example that would be your PCP or primary care physician. So I, I think that that's significant. You might not be able to see that here, but it's right following uh, the LX segment. Um, I think that's probably a really quick overview. Uh, let's jump in and take a look at um, the an actual scenario. I'm going to use the CAT claim adjudication system for that. Um, so let me show you a, a real example where we're actually importing uh, uh, an enrollment file. Um, I'm going to real quick show you that uh, we don't have any remittance files here. And we don't have any claim status or uh, adjudicated claims here in the system. We just have a file. Now, if I were to go into, for example, the profiles, you'll see that there's no members and there's no providers here. If I were to, for example, try to um, validate this, I could go through and adjudicate it and, and run a claim status. But what I want to show you real quick is that when I do this, you see how I've got a rejection on the billing provider and I've got a rejection on the member because they haven't been enrolled yet. So I, I just wanted to show the, you that process real quick. And now we're going to go into the enrollment section, which is right here. And I'm going to actually enroll these files. Now, here is my enrollment file. We'll take a quick look at this. You see we have 834 here, 220 here. We know that it's an enrollment. And then here is the name of the first person that we're going to enroll and their member ID. And, um, you know, then we go through addresses and demographics um, and these dummy claims. I'm going to change this here to 1907. These are all fake um, information there as well. But um, LUI is for language. Um, SBA is for Spanish. These are situational segments. But you can see in one of these scenarios that, um, you know, you have your 2300 HD loop. And you see how HD01 matches the INS03, which is right here. That just gives you a quick overview. So let's uh, enroll this. It, it doesn't take long to enroll things. So uh, just like that, now we've enrolled all of our members and we've enrolled our providers and uh, we're all good to go. So now when I go into, um, I actually have to rerun this file here. I'm going to select it again. And this time I'm going to validate it. And when I do, let's take a look at this file here. And you can see that now we have an accept for the billing provider. And we have an accept for the member. Um, we also have an accept for the payer too. And just for just for giggles, let's go ahead and do a little adjudicate the claim, and then we'll do remittance in two seven seven CA. Let's take a look at this real quick. Um, notice that now uh, in the CLP segment, we have eight hundred ninety dollars and thirty three cents, and seven hundred fifty six of that has been paid. Um, if we do the math, math on that, you'll see that that's about 85%. And uh, the reason why I mention that is uh, simply because we can take a look at this transaction, the original 837, and see that it's using a group code of, uh, a group or plan code of GRPG1. Um, we can also look this up in the personnel. Remember that patient ID that we had right here? It's right here. Uh, when we look at plan ID it's actually GRPG1 you might not be able to see this but um, the cat claim adjudication system is actually set up for two or three screens so uh, this can spread out pretty pretty wide you can shorten it but uh, that's one of the cool things about this system uh, the reason why I showed you that is that when I go in to look at um, the setups for each plan when we go and look up GRPG1 you can see that it's supposed to be 85 percent so you can tell that it's working correctly so that's kind of a, a brief uh, walkthrough for enrollment and uh, I've showed you some data where we actually performed an enrollment and we went through a brief overview of what that looked like. Um, you know, I, I hope that this has been uh, helpful for you. Um, if, uh, if you have any questions, you can always leave me a note uh, or you can drop me an email. I can't promise anything, but uh, if you'd like for me to look at one of your enrollment claims or even your claim files, uh, just let me know. 
uh, thanks for watching my video.